Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. Are we in the days of Mashiach, are we in the end times? Where are we in this process of Mashiach's arrival? The answer to this, my friends, is we are in the last generation, as the Rebbe has said on numerous occasions. And so that would qualify as we are in this process of the end times. However, the key word here is a process. And of course, we haven't seen the arrival of Mashiach yet. And that is the main climax of the arrival of the Mashiach times. But the end times, the last generation, this messianic era is a process. And we have definitely entered this process of Mashiach arriving. But of course, at every moment, we wait for the official revelation of Mashiach. And that will mark the true enter, entering of the days of Mashiach. But we are in the redemption times. We're in, we're in the process of being redeemed. That is for sure. And the main thing to realize is that actually, ever since Adam and Eve, the sin of Adam and Eve since the beginning of time, and this exile from the Garden of Eden, this hiddenness of God, that they were in the Garden of Eden where God was open and revealed and tangible. Godliness was, 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 was opened and revealed and accessible to Adam and Eve. They were involved in it. They experienced God. And now, since their sin, the world is in a process of re-returning to that state and reaching an even greater level. And this was actually marked, this was really, this was shifted into action at the, the giving of Mount Sinai, where actually at Mount Sinai, to a certain extent, there was an even greater revelation of God than in the Garden of Eden. And the Torah was given. And the Torah is a blueprint to bring the world back, and not just back to the days of like things, the way things were during the times of Adam and Eve, but to an even greater state where there's going to be a tosefes, or there's going to be a bonus, an added light revealed, a special light that has been saved for the days of Mashiach. And what is very interesting, I heard a rabbi speaking on YouTube, a very interesting class that I was listening to, and the rabbi quotes our sages, where the sages say, Proof that the coming of Mashiach is not just a event. Of course, there will be the main event of Mashiach arriving, Eliyahu and Avi, Elijah the prophet introducing Mashiach. But the coming of Mashiach is a process, and the world to come is a process. And we learn at the very words, Olam Haba, Olam Haba. It's not Olam Sheyavo. It's not the world that will come, that is coming, that will come. But rather, it's Olam Haba. Or al olam hayavo, the world that is going to come. But it's olam haba, which if you speak, if you translate the words directly, it says olam haba, the world that is coming right now. So it means that we are constantly in a process of Mashiach coming, and the world entering into this messianic era, and everything that is happening now in the world is a process of accelerating it. And it's like, as you move closer. As this pull gets even stronger, as we enter the days of Mashiach, this, this process becomes accelerated even greater and greater, even stronger and stronger. It's like when you drop a ball from a, high, from a high place, from a high building, as the ball falls lower and lower, the speed in which the ball, um, the speed in which the ball approaches the, the ground is, comes faster and faster. It's like that and how much more so towards the days of Mashiach. All the events that are taking place. Hashem is accelerating Alex accelerating this 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 journey towards the days of Mashiach faster and faster and faster. And this is accelerated by two main of two main occurrences that are constantly occurring and that have started beginning since five hundred years ago or quite or around between five and three hundred years ago. And this is especially marked three hundred years ago that the Rebbe speaks about how this is how the Zohar prophesizes, predicts, but more of a nevuah, more of a godly revelation of what will occur towards the days of Mashiach is that the fountains from above and below will open up and that will accelerate the coming of Mashiach and we learn from the Rebbe and from our sages as well that what does this mean? This means the following. It means that the fountains from above is Hasidus. And the fountains from below is technology. And the fountains from above is the secrets of Torah, Kabbalah and Hasidus that are being opened up. That Hasidus, the Baal Shem Tov, started revealing the deepest secrets of Torah to like no other, and since then, more and more secrets with the Rebbeim and all the Hasidic masters, as well as Kabbalistic teachings from other sources as well, have been opened up at great degrees since this exact time that the Rebbe speaks about, spoken about in the Zohar, as well as technology. The technological advancement happened at unimaginable speeds. So we have to take this into our hearts, that this is all an event, events that are constantly taking place, where Hashem is accelerating us and bringing us and transporting us into the days of Mashiach. 
So make it happen today. May Hashem bless you all. You can support the Torah channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe and help us. You can donate to the Torah channel to help support us, to help spread the word of Hashem, to bring Mashiach. May Hashem bless you all. May we see this today.